Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixbuzz TV, mixing and mastering tutorials on YouTube. Today I want to show you a nice trick, very creative trick I think, that I came up with a few weeks ago on a mix while I was experimenting with a new uh, free plugin from Waves. And I think this is the first time that Waves releases a free plugin, if I'm not mistaken, and it's called Pumper. This is a very clever plugin, in my opinion, because it allows you to do the classic uh, sidechain pump compression without having to do all the routing, okay, that, that the sidechain compression involves. It locks to your timecode, to your beat in your sequencer, in this case Pro Tools, and allows you to choose the rate of the pump effect this control here allows you to change the offset and um, we'll see what that does in a minute. So here we have a mix. Okay. Regular mix, nothing special. So what this trick is about is using the pumper to create a parallel bus for the drum that pumps, in this case, are 180 degrees offset. And the effect is very nice, in my opinion, because it breeds uh, pretty much in the opposite direction of the, the main hits, kick and snare, and allows the cymbals and the room in between hits to get pumped, to get pushed. Uh, in between hits. What did I do is I sent the drum bus to an aux bus and I placed the pumper as first slot. So let's take a listen to it by itself. Let's exaggerate it. Okay. The important part here is the offset, because if I keep it at zero, as it comes from the factory default, it will sound like this. Okay, not that musical. 90 degrees would be like this. And 180. See, here is where you can you can hear the cymbals breathing in between kicks and snares okay zero okay so this 180 here is not a rule it works for the song actually i used in a dubstep mix a couple of days ago and it was, I think, 90 degrees instead, or minus 90 degrees, it was working better. So experiment with the offset, and um, different drums will, will require different settings and will give uh, different results. But for this song, we send the drum bus to this pump uh, aux bus. And let's hear the drum together. Without it. Okay. Of course, right now is very high, the volume, just to make uh, the effect obvious. But you can blend it as you want. Without, with, okay, so I think it's pretty cool, uh, my advice is don't use it for the whole song, maybe use it just when you want some more energy, for example on a chorus or on a bridge or for example the vocals stop singing and you want something to push, you know, something to replace. Uh, the energy. This could be an idea. 
Uh, another idea is to add a reverb to this parallel pumping bus. And that would sound like this. Okay. Not better or worse, just, I don't know, to make the pumping less abrupt. But depending on the song, it could work either way. Let's hear it with the drum. Pumper and reverb. Without. Okay, that's a pretty big difference. Let's hear the whole mix with and without the the pump parallel bus. Without. With. Okay, it's pretty cool, I think. Uh, it's very nice, it's a very unusual effect, and uh, with this plugin, with the Pumper plugin, it, it's so easy to do it, and you don't have to um, do all the routing uh, that, that you would normally, you know, send in kick and snare to a bus, or send in the overhead, or any other drum part to, to have this effect, okay? Just uh, slap it on a parallel channel, and, and you have it. And um, you can make the effect more obvious. Okay, and I think it's a bit unnatural. Around halfway, it sounds good. Without. Okay. I think it really brings a lot a lot of energy in in the drum in the song itself. Let's go to another place. This is a chorus, which is a place where I would use it. Without Wait. Make it a bit more obvious. Of course, this is a little much, but you get the idea, okay? I really think it brings a lot of energy in the song, and I'm sure I will experiment with this with other instruments as well, because, I don't know, this, this plugin it actually makes the pump effect uh, so easy, you don't have to do all the routing, so it's, for me, it's very important uh, to have a tool like this that is very simple, but it saves you a lot of time when mixing, and usually when I have an idea, the, the fastest I can get to it, and the better it comes out. So experiment with this. Like I said, uh, change rates and offset based on the song, on the feel of the drum, and see what you can see what you can come up with. Um, I'm sure you will find it useful. Um, used it in parallel like this. I think it's pretty cool. And since that we are at it, let me show you another trick that most people would think is pretty crazy. And that is to use delays on drums. So let's mute all the other buses and just hear the drum. Okay. So what did I do? Is I opened a delay on the same uh, parallel bus that I was using before for the pumper. And I slapped a delay on it. 18 notes, mono. And this is how it sounds by itself. Oh, sorry, I have a parallel 
compression going on. Okay. And I think it works well for this song because it kind of bounces the feel and the groove that the drummer is playing. Let's hear it together. Okay, once again, it's a little much, just to make it obvious. Even this tom feels, I think it's very cool. Okay. Let's hear it with the rest of the elements. And as you can hear, when the other elements are playing, it's not really that obvious. It just adds some depth to the drum. Without. Let's push it a little more. And once again, it's as crazy as it sounds to put delays on drum. I think it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Let's hear it without it. Let's go to the other part of the song when she sings. For example, in the verse, I wouldn't use it. It sounds weird. Without it works better. So it's better off but we'll get it in the chorus. I think it's pretty cool. Without it. Okay, and this is pretty simple, as you can see. Uh, I don't have any EQ, any other compression going on. It's just a high pass and low pass for the delay. The delay is set at 100% and is mono. It's not ping-ponging. And let me play you again this bit here, which I think is pretty cool, especially the tom feel. I think it's pretty cool. Let's hear it without. With. And again, if you listen to it in solo, it's pretty apparent. But when everything is playing... Okay. The music swallows up a lot of the effect, so you can get away with a decent amount of, of delay. And, and still make it sound like it's just ambient, it's just depth, okay? So this is a pretty crazy trick, but I don't know, I, I like to experiment, I get bored, so I, I, I try stuff like this and I wanted to share it with you. So this is it for today, I hope you liked the video, if you did, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you have any question, please write it in the comment or send us a message and see you next time.